Good morning, everyone. I'm just getting ready for work. It's 5.30 a.m. or maybe just after 5.30. This is the time that I wake up every morning though, so I'm very used to it. I am just doing my makeup for work. I'm talking quietly because it's still early and there's nobody home actually. I was going to say no one's sleeping, but it's just really early in the morning. So I've got my um, coffee in my favorite turtle mug from Hawaii. That's my good luck mug. And yeah, I'm just doing my makeup. I'm getting ready. It's actually a really rainy day today. I'll show you guys so you can see with this camera, but it's just a very wet rainy morning. I don't mind the rain. I'm like one of those weird people that I like really actually like the rain, but it takes me over an hour to get to work. And it's probably gonna take longer now because of the rain, because people just don't know how to drive when it's raining. So um, what I wanted to do is just do a random vlog for you guys um, for the next few days because I haven't done that in a really long time. We can just, just discuss all random things. I'm just doing my contour and in case you guys are curious, I am using the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in Warm Almond and I love this. This is my favorite. I bought it in Hawaii and I haven't stopped using it since. So yeah, I'm just getting ready for work. I wanted to show you guys the three foundations that I would say are probably my favorite foundations that I wear um, all the time. I do get a lot of questions about my, um, you know, like skincare and makeup and what I use. And I used to talk about that a lot on my channel when I started, it was definitely more of a, you know, makeup channel. I did tutorials and stuff like that. Here to remove and just make sure that you do avoid the eye area and I love makeup I love skincare but I kind of stopped talking about it as much so I thought I would just kind of reintroduce it in little ways back into my channel so if I quickly show you guys as I'm doing this my top three foundations uh, definitely the Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is a great everyday foundation. I would say it's got actually a light to medium coverage. So if you're looking for a nice, easy everyday foundation that's not too like thick, then I would go for this one. The Miranus Liquid Silk Foundation is also a great everyday foundation. It has, in my opinion, more coverage than the HD foundation. So sometimes I really like to mix these together to get a really nice shade, but this is great on its own. It's a matte finish, oil-free, and it actually is SPF 15. So that's why I really like this as an everyday foundation. And then of course, as always, and I'm sure a lot of people have this in their kit as their or one of their favorites. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is in shade 6.5 and I honestly love this foundation. It has the most amazing finish. Funny enough, I always like to layer this with something else. I don't know what it is. I mean, you don't need to do it. The foundation is just fine on its own, but I like to sometimes mix this with one of the two. I guess I like to mix my foundations really because you don't need to mix any of them. They all look great on their own, but I do like to mix this sometimes with one of these two. So these are my top three foundations. I thought I would do a random vlog. I'm just gonna film like the next few days. Unfortunately, I can't do those types of vlogs where I film at work because I'm not allowed to. I'll show you like the drive to work and we can talk on the way. And yeah, it would just be like a, a vlog on getting to know my everyday life because un not unfortunately, I was gonna say unfortunately, and that's, I misspoke. Um, you know, this is, this is my everyday life. YouTube's not my full-time job by any means. So, um, yeah, I think there's a lot of people that are curious about what people do on YouTube. Like, what is your real life like? And uh, I think a lot of people are filming more things like that. So I would love to do that for you guys. So I just place that, as you can see, here and here. And just let it set a little bit. And then I'll brush away the, um, the excess. And then we'll apply a little bit of blush, a little lip liner. And then we will go into the kitchen and make some breakfast. So I'm going to finish up here and then I will see you in the kitchen.
What I'm going to say next is probably going to irritate a few people, but before I share that piece of information, let me just explain what I'm having for breakfast because I've been doing this lately every morning and it really works for me, mainly because I'm time poor. So that was a little bit of porridge that I put in the bowl and I'm just going to add some warm water from the kettle. And then what I do is I will normally add some fruit, just depending on what I have, usually a banana, maybe with some strawberries, blueberries, raspberries if I have them. And then what I'll do is in the back there, you can see those um, coconut flakes, I will sprinkle them on top. And it's just a very quick, easy way for me to have a nutritious breakfast that makes me feel good. But what I wanted to share with you guys and... Part of the reason why so many people ask me to upload, you know, diet, like what do you eat, Steph? You're so tall and slim and like, can you share your diet tips or tricks with us? The truth is, is that I'm very blessed and have a amazing fast metabolism. I'm actually one of those people that struggle to gain weight and that's not actually an amazing thing for me, but I know for most people, it's like, I wish I had that problem. So that's the main reason why I haven't uploaded a diet video because I eat anything and everything and even though what you're seeing right now is super healthy um, I eat a lot of unhealthy things as well so trust me you don't want to eat like me <laughs> it takes me about over an hour to get to work every day because I live quite far from where I work and today is day seven in a row so I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit exhausted I've had one day off in like two weeks so I'm pretty tired but I'm not complaining because I love working and making money so this is not me complaining this is definitely just me telling you what my week is like it's currently 7 54 I'm actually running a little bit late for work today and it's just started to rain brilliant which usually means there's gonna be more traffic I uploaded a video I think it was called workwear lookbook for those who don't know I work in the corporate environment corporate sales environment I should say um, five six days a week so my wardrobe is definitely split half is my work clothes and half is the clothes that I wear outside of work or to the gym and stuff like that so I put this video together but I don't really like the format or the layout the way that I kind of put it together so I deleted that video and what I've done is a few days ago I actually reshot some of those outfits as well as some new outfits for those who you know if you are maybe starting a job in the corporate sales environment or you already are and you struggle like me every morning to figure out what you're gonna wear each day if you don't have a uniform you know you want to wear different things you don't want to wear the same things all the time so it's just about mixing and matching different pieces together to create new looks so a few days ago I filmed those outfits and I, I don't know if I'm gonna do it in a separate video or if I'm just going to upload it right here right now for you guys mm -hmm. 